James, we talked about how job seekers can use Zoom for their interviews. And another thing is that it's very important to tell their story to the recruiters or the hiring managers. In that sense, what tips you have for job seekers to tell their story and also how they can incorporate that during LinkedIn stories? So I guess the first thing is um, the, the catchphrase I like to throw out there is you want to be a data driven storyteller. Mm-hmm. Um, this is kind of like in joke in my company because I use this so often, but um, in the marketing realm and really in any realm, that's what people really want is someone who can understand data and metrics and tell a story around that. Now to do that in your interview process, um, I would think of it this way. Um, you're going to get a lot of questions that are all going to have the same answers. Um, you know, what are, what are you proud of? Tell me about a key accomplishment. What's the best thing you did in your last job? Or even though, what are your strengths? Like they all, you can all kind of have the same answer in mind to answer a lot of these kind of very general questions that you know are going to ask. I always, I always recommend to people have two or three like key accomplishments, projects, whatever you worked on and also have metrics related to those. And those metrics can be anything from like growth or revenue or productivity or, or whatever it was and rehearse talk to someone who is, doesn't have your background. Talk to someone who's not going to get what you do per se and just get used to explaining kind of your key accomplishments to that person. That way you have to kind of really become a better storyteller and provide better context because you, there's no guarantee that whoever talking to, you might be talking to people with different backgrounds who may or may not understand. But once you can do that, once you can kind of phrase things to the lay person so they understand what your background and include some metrics, you'll have two or three kind of answers in your back pocket for any interview when people ask those kind of general questions that you know are going to come up. And what about LinkedIn stories? That's a new feature. Some people have still figuring it out. How can job seekers use that? Job seekers, that's an interesting one. I've, I think it's very, as a recruiter, I've been using it and we've been using it as a firm. Um, I guess here's the thing. I've been using it just to have fun with. I have this ongoing series where I say it's James reads bad glass door reviews, where I just read off really bad glass door reviews and make a joke out of it just to like stand out. And I think it's kind of funny, you know, um, well, we have on a more serious application, we have a lot of recruiters who use it just to talk about the one job they're working on that day. Mm-hmm. And because they have a network of people, they're always kind of, you know, if they're a digital marketing recruiter, if they're a tech recruiter, they have a people that probably check their feed out. And we've had a lot of people actually make some placements already just in the first couple of weeks of it from that, nice. you know, from a job, job seekers perspective. Um, I, I think that it's another extension of using LinkedIn as a brand mechanism. I think that, um, I've known some job seekers who have had a lot of success posting on LinkedIn about like whatever questions they're going to get during the interview, whatever it is, hiring managers or typically want to know about their skill set, become a thought leader on LinkedIn about those specific issues. Because what's going to happen is when you're doing the interview process, people are going to go to your LinkedIn profile, see what you're talking about. And when they peel back the layers, they're going to have a lot more kind of more content out there to show you're a thought leader. And I think stories is just another way to do that as a job seeker. Um, hopefully you're connecting with these people you're interviewing with that way they see it and then they can see what your thoughts are. Thank you for those great tips, James. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of telling stories or how to use LinkedIn stories, please leave a comment below and tune in next time for another great question with James.